a beautiful Sunday afternoon. What a better place to spend it on a nice sunny afternoon in Rio. Not the Rio that you are thinking. This is the Rio here in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And we're gonna be walking around and uh, being it's a nice day, a lot of people out today, really. So we're gonna be heading around and see what's going on. Sign above the uh, light post. And this is the section of Rio. And Rio is a little section, uh, a little town that's full of restaurants, uh, shopping, entertainment, and events. Again, located here in Gaithersburg, Maryland. The trees down here are in full bloom. Definitely springtime is here. Just standing outside here, right outside the Yard House restaurant. Kind of cruising through the True Food Kitchen. And then there's a Mexican restaurant toward the back. What you see here. Lots of people out today. Now this is usually called the Rio Lakefront. Now I don't know if they're referring to this as the lakefront, but uh, this is the water source that I see here so far. Now Rio was built in 1998 from what I have read. So we're gonna head over and we're gonna cross the bridge and take a look on the other side of it. You got a couple of geese out there on the uh, like a little pad. There's one there. And there's also one right here too. They're also enjoying the nice sunny warm day. Do have the Copper Canyon restaurant here. Not sure what type of food that they serve. Do have a fire pit outside <clears throat> not sure what it's for they're not actually cooking anything on it interesting just looking across the water front here there seems to be a merry-go-round and a playground for kids and i tell you what it looks very packed over there A lot of people are definitely out for an early evening. Okay, you are now crossing the bridge. Just forgive me, I don't have my gimbal. This was a last minute thing, so everything I'm um, shooting, it just um, shoot the video with just the phone for right now. So any kind of And they do have like a little patio set here. People can be seated, relaxing, sitting by the fire, if that's your desire. We have the two letters here, R and O, and notice the I is missing. Well, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to stand in the middle right here to represent the I, as you can see pose as the eye to complete the word Rio. Then, of course, you, if you want to take a picture, you can share it with your friends and family. And that's uh, what those two letters were standing there for. Check out the directory. This is what they all have to offer here. Lots of restaurants. Definitely a lot of Shopping, clothes, and other services. And they do have a Mexican restaurant. Mexican from scratch. Now, I'm not too sure if this is related. It's Uncle Julio's. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. Thank you. 
Okay, you gotta get a better perspective. Uncle Julio's Rio Grande Cafe. It does have a corner bakery cafe right here sitting on the corner. You have a burger fi restaurant. Making a meal. Add fresh cut fries, Coca Cola, freestyle beverage to any entree at $5.99. Burger Fry. I don't know if that means burger and fries short term. I'm not really sure about it as to why it's Burger Fry. And just right across the street, they have Kung Fu Tea. I'm not sure I never had any Kung Fu tea. And why they call it Kung Fu is unknown. I'm sure it's some kind of Asian tea. Clothing store, South Moon Under. You're washing the windows from the store. I apologize for not having my gimbal and I'm just walking freehand with my phone. So we're just kind of walking through downtown. See what they have here. I mean, this is just gonna be a quick video. I, I mean, this wasn't planned. It was a last minute. So I figured, hey, why not? Go ahead and do it. Also down here, I got the Target department store. I always like Target. If it came, if it, between the two, Walmart and Target, Target would be it. Yeah, we'll take a stroll down the street here. They got a AMC movie theater and a Dave and Buster's we're gonna take a look at. I do, however, like their interesting street signs they got here. Another scene looking over the waterfront. It is a pretty view, you have to admit. Chipotle. Do you even have one of these down here? If you're hungry for some Mexican, I will use it. Bring it over here. Donut Chew. I've never been to a Donut Chew. I've been to other donut shops, but Donut Chew, I have not been. And in this building here, they have the AMC Theaters, the Silver Diner, and Dave Buster's the Theaters Restaurants. I guess you can fall in one. Yeah, just coming inside here, just to take a look at this mural that is on the wall. Not sure what I think this is more like a farmer's thing, I'm guessing. We buy fresh and local. You eat well. Chef driven preservation menu and seasonal selections. They do have the Silver Diner, which it says locally owned and operated. The original Silver Diner in Rockville, Maryland, established in 1989. 
And of course, you got all your poster boards of all the movies that are currently playing right now at the AMC Theater. Just came up the escalator and just want to point out this view that they have here. And I'm not sure if you can really see this or not. Let me tie that. That's about the best I can get if you look. Right there, they got inside, well, indoor skydiving. Right across the road from there. We're going to head into Dave & Buster's where we can eat, drink, play, and watch. And I think that's what we're going to be doing. We're doing a little more watching. I found this sign pretty interesting. I saw it's the ground floor. This is the very first... Dave and Buster's in Dallas, Texas. As you can see, in 1982, the guy named Dave loved all things fun and games. This guy named Buster loved buying food and drink. And that's how it began. A guy named Dave and a guy named Buster. Put this all together. Ground floor, I take it. I definitely have an assorted amount of video games here at Dave and Buster's. It's always a fun time at the menu. Like some classic. Some new ones. Heading down the escalator, coming back from Dave and Buster's. Again, scene across the waterfront. And we're gonna head inside to the art house to grab something to eat. All right, we're inside and I had ordered myself a barbecue bacon cheddar burger. Do you have the burger here? Well, that was kind of a good meal. I enjoyed my burger. Uh, not a bad place to eat. I've eaten in there several times already. But we're going to kind of walk around and uh, a little bit more here in Rio uh, to see what they have. Again, they do have many shops, many uh, restaurants, and entertainment as well. And these signs, I think, are pretty cool. You know, Kohl's, Xfinity. Just kind of tell you where they, where they head off to there. And it's the landscaping is nice. I like the way they did these flowers for spring. All fixed up. Looking nice. The daffodils. I'm not familiar with all my flowers. And there's a gentleman there sitting by himself. Looks like he's a Star Trek fan. Reading a book. Of Star Trek not sure what serious series that he's reading about but he's reading Star Trek another look over the bridge in the background is where we were at across the lake there so it kind of gives you more perspective of the area there 
this building here I, I liked has the a mural of looking through the windows and you see a girl in there shopping uh, a woman sitting down reading a book while she's eating I kind of like that it's kind of neat but they have a space available so and they have those covered up the windows instead you see your typical plywood everything and there's your pot belly sandwich shop one place i never really ate at maybe someday i will head into that and try it out and see what pot belly sandwich is about there's a place called it's sugar has peeps pick up all the chicks it has the as you can see there and down here you get the plush marshmallow peeps that they have available we're going to go inside and just kind of look around and see what they have to offer inside the store so i like to head inside to see which i think is pretty neat so and then you front there you got some cereal boxes dingleberries sour power but anyway there's tricks i got captain crunch i got freddy fruity pebbles fruit loops like plush boxes there's kind of a look around of all the merchandise and items that they have and of course it's called it's sweet everything's sweet oh, i love this the cup noodles socks a couple noodles boxer briefs and a giant size blow pops look how big these are I wonder how long it'll take to get to the bubble gum center on this one not sure we'll just put that back here and we're looking at some those juicy uh, first of the, the, the uh, necklaces, the candy necklaces, I always loved that as a kid, you know. And of course, the wax bottles with the liquid in them, I always love that. And you got your Papa Rocks, and you got different flavors. You got green apple, you got strawberry, and what else you got here? Bottle caps. One of my favorite candies of all time was ball of caps. They definitely have that here. Now look around. And they got like a, a gummy breakfast. And I don't know if that would be good. A gummy pizza. I'm not sure if that would be good either. But then they got some miscellaneous uh, candy here. Like, uh, I'm not too sure. Like sour taffy. Then you got your Sour Patch kids here. Some of them are plush, made out of plush. Then you got your traditional peeps. The cotton candy, the party cake. They have all kinds. And they have a sale, buy one, get one free. They're looking for peeps down here. Fruit Punch they also have. And again, you're going to pick up all the chicks to come into this store. Right there, chick magnet. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Just walking in the store to see the items that they have to offer. And you got your nerds, your rainbow nerds. You got your, you know, a lot of, of it made out of plush. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that they have. Here then there's, there's candy. Then you got your traditional Oreo cookie. Who does not love an Oreo cookie, right? Especially the cream center right there. And these ones here have caramel creams. And they got your plush pillow Oreos, which is I think is pretty neat. And on the top here, you got your socks. And some other items. It's called It's Sugar. So if you're ever down in Rio, check it out. It's, again, it's sugar. And this way, you'll be able to pick up all the chicks right here. Pretty cool, I think. Then here's the Silver Diner. If you're ever down, down here, you want to check that out. And then we're going to check out the back 
outside of the diner. You can eat outside. But he's just sign says, sorry, our patio is closed. Please visit our dining room or order carryout from silverdiner.com. Silver Diner, eat well, be well. And on the back there, right across the lake there, there are people walking around there. So that's not too bad. People strolling on a nice day like this. You can't beat it. So, right here at Rio. Get seen here at Rio. Well, this concludes this video. And I apologize, I forgot to introduce myself in the beginning of the video. My name is Sean, and my channel is Capturing Moments and Events. And until then, like I said, this was just a random thing, last minute, nothing planned. It was a spur of the moment. So, until then, I'll see you in my next video. Just want to get one more shot on the place. And that ends the video.